This video looks at the structure of rhizopus and how it asexually reproduces. Rhizopus is a saprophyte, meaning that it absorbs food from dead organic matter. Saprophytic fungi act as decomposers. The rhizopus is composed of many structures. Firstly, it consists of thread-like structures called hyphae. Hyphae contain many haploid nuclei. Hyphae are made of chitin. A group of hyphae is known as mycelium. Mycelium is what you actually see when you see mould grown on fruit or bread. The hyphae secretes digestive enzymes onto the substrate, which then the hyphae absorbs nutrients from the substrate. Rhizoids are a type of hyphae that anchor down into the substrate. They increase the surface area for the absorption of nutrients. The sporangiophore is a vertical hyphae, which grows up from the substrate. The sporangium is a swelling on top of the sporangiophore. It contains many haploid spores. The stolon is a horizontal hypha. This helps the fungus to spread. It also helps to secrete digestive enzymes. The columella is the basis of the sporangium. The hypothesis is a swelling at the base of the sporangium. During asexual reproduction of the rhizopus, the sporangium bursts and releases its haploid spores. Each spore blows away and grows into a new hypha and mycelium if it lands on a suitable substrate.